What it left behind that we're worried about. The Outer Banks obviously took the brunt of the damage. And that's where we find 13 News reporter Abby LaRocco tonight. She starts off our team coverage in Currituck. Yeah, I've been in Currituck all day and we've seen quite a bit of progress. Things obviously starting with the weather. Uh, it's obviously started to calm down quite a bit since we first arrived this morning. However, there's still quite a bit of cleanup left to do and a lot of things that people are looking out for, including when their power is going to come back on. Here's a look at how our day unfolded. Dorian took a while to get here, but he sure made an entrance. It started getting real bad about 530 this morning and then uh, it's continuously gotten worse throughout the day. The wind, the rain. I haven't really seen it worse than this. Flooding roads, tossing branches and knocking out electricity. Hopefully it's not too hot out and you got a generator to keep your fridge and freezer. When it comes to things like these downed power lines, Dominion said that they were frankly preparing for the worst and expecting the worst. But some people got a little bit luckier, like right here where you see this giant tree that fell across the front of a yard and right up against against the front of their house, shaking the whole building, but actually not really even crashing through the window. I'm not kind of scared of pretty bad. It kind of rattled the windows in the house. What did that sound like? Yeah, it was uh, jump up and run look is what it sounded like. The downed trees in the back spared their generator. A different source of electricity, though, caused issues for the family with a solar farm in their backyard. When the wind was blowing, it looked like a ripple, like you'd see in the waves. Then all of a sudden, you see it come up like a wave crashing. Mm -hmm. So I mean this is our main concern. We've been watching it all morning wondering how well the system is going to hold up during a hurricane. But it's not all darkness here without power. We've got a big family so you know. Here in Currituck they'll need that energy for the days ahead. We just hang out and have fun. So. That's because I checked in with Dominion Energy recently, and while some lights are starting to come back on in parts of Currituck County, they don't exactly have an estimate as to when they think all of the power will be restored because like in so many of the impacted areas, they're still out checking for damage.